what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be hanging out with the prelude i know it's been a while since you guys have seen it and i've gotten a lot of comments that you know you guys want more videos um you know i just have kind of too many things going on right now but i am gonna drop more videos there's just a lot more stuff that i need for the prelude before i can really make major updates but we do have a few things that we are going to be doing to it um right now we're going to check the oil just to make sure everything looks good if you have a car i would make it a habit of checking oil just to make sure everything looks fine and i do that pretty much every time i start any car um unless i don't have time to jay-z and no shit and what did i tell you Everything's still looking pretty good over here. Header's still there. AMV2 still there. Things are looking good so far. Check the coolant. Uh, coolant looks good. Um, I actually had a coolant leak the other day uh, when I checked up on the car. And it ended up being that hose. Um, I didn't really have time to replace it, so instead I cut the hose and then I just put the rest of it back on there and it's fine now. But long term, I should really change that hose. Okay, oil's pretty dirty, missing just a little bit, not too bad. So the only other updates that I have for the car is this battery. I had to get another battery for it. But on today's video, we're gonna be installing a different stereo. So we're gonna get rid of this stereo right here. That one, where's the face? Face, 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 face. Ugh. Yep, no one's ever going to know it's underneath my freaking seat, right? There you go. Okay. So we're replacing this with this. This is a dual uh, double den stereo. Um, I don't know, it should look a little bit better than this in here. You just got to snap your fingers and then it automatically comes off. And next you're going to have four screws, two over here and two over here. And then this is going to come out. I already removed mine. Okay, we got the harness off. And I have a quick question for you guys. So my radio doesn't work because this is all my stuff. This is the antenna for it. So do you guys know if they sell like something over here that I can just add like a tip to it so I can have it working again? Or if I have to replace the whole cable? And I wonder how long this whole thing is. It's probably really long. But if you know, just comment down below. All right, so this is back on and this looks a lot better already. Yep, I wish I had like a little bezel that goes around it over here, but um, it's fine. It's on there good. Let's see if it works. So I hooked up my Bluetooth already. Uh, let's see. Let's listen to Wiz Khalifa. What should we play? Uh... Well, let's listen to this, see if it works. I already tried it, it was working, but now let's see if it's working. Yeah, still working. Commercial on YouTube, just like always. Uh, doo -doo. Skip commercials. Yep, it's working pretty good. All right, now that the stereo's done, let's go ahead and start up the car. This car is so much quieter than the Civic. I want to show you guys the difference in loudness between the two cars. So if we rev this car from the inside, this is how loud it sounds. Now let's try it in the Civic. Did you guys notice how much longer it took for the Civic to rev versus the Prelude? It's because of the lightweight flywheel. Here, check it out again. Look how freely this Prelude revs. So before we end the video, let's do some drive-bys with the Prelude and the SI and just see how much louder the Civic is on the outside. All right, 
right now let's go try out the prelude all right let's pull off at the same spot i think it was right over here you know what someone came and cut grass over here while we were gone We were gone maybe 15 minutes and someone came by here and already mowed some lawn. Well, maybe we'll throw up some lawn when we drive by. So it's pretty evident the SI is much louder than the Prelude. I just didn't know if you could actually hear it on camera. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Prelude and I've been wanting to install that double in for a while now. But it's been sitting for a little bit too long. I, I am gonna start driving it a lot more often. I just need brakes now. Um, every time I drive it, I find something else that I need. And then I really don't have the time, but you know, you gotta make time. And uh, really when I get this car back on the road 100%, it does need to get painted pretty bad, but I mean, for the most part, it doesn't look bad. Believe it or not, guys, I still get thumbs up on the Prelude, even the way it is. They're just getting more rare and harder to find now. And I think a lot of people like the fact that they don't even make them anymore. And the next thing that we're gonna do to the Prelude is change the exhaust. I'm running the OEM piping with that PLM header right now. So I'm sure an aftermarket exhaust is gonna really open up the exhaust a lot more. I am gonna keep the muffler tip though. I really like the way this ready sounds. And I think it looks pretty good even though it's really dirty. But, all right guys, this about wraps up the video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.